So, last time we made our way through the distortion world, I ended up catching Giratina, and not with the Master Ball either. I uh, also paid a visit to a couple of the spirits of the lake. One ran away, the other one just didn't want to get caught. Oh well. Uh, and I and since last time I leveled everybody up to 50, I fear I should have gone higher. Maybe to at least 52, 53. But what's done is done. Um... But before we actually go in here, at the very least, I want to pay a visit to this lake. Because this was the one that we that I didn't go to last time. So I at least want to take a shot at catching this one. If it if it's true that only one only the first one I went to actually becomes a roamer. In the meantime, might as well get at least a little bit of experience while I'm traveling here. That was a crit. Let's see if you, if I have any luck with you. I'll give it one shot. If it works, cool. If not, I'll just move on. But at least I'm giving it a try. I should have used a uh, quick ball first thing. That's about as good as I could have hoped for. Alright, let's go. Got plenty of Ultra Balls this time. No way. No freaking way! I'll take it! <laughs> uh, sometimes, you know. Sometimes you just get it in one. Yes! Very good start. Alright then. Go ahead and heal up the barrel because why the heck not? Do I still have... Do I still have one that has a... Uh, the, am I still using the EXP share? Uh, where's the... Oh. Hmm. Is there an item I can give you? Oh, 
poison. Psychic tide, yeah. Claw's nice, but I think the start after is pretty fast on, it, on its own. Eh. Makes the holder bloated and slow moving. Okay, fair enough. Not, but not nothing to really give you. If I had one that improved flying type moves, or even well, no, normal types would work. Pretty sure you're gonna get some good mileage out of the wild Pokemon in here. Ah, I see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get whatever experience I can off of the wild Pokemon along the way. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need all the levels I can get for the uh, for the end game. Nothing else gets me some use out of Bubble Beam, but I'll, I'll be save, uh, saving the Surfs for the uh, for the trainers, I think. Hello, Amelia. Uh, okay. I'll see what you lead off with, and we act. I can assume it's just straight psychic. It might be some other type along with it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. See, this is my usual habit when I when I play on my own time. I save before a trainer fight, see who they lead off with, and reset. And rearrange accordingly. Gengar, yeah, you Uh, I think I'm gonna use a psychic on you, because I know I'm pretty sure you're you're a bit of a tanky one, so I'm not sure if a side beam bite well No that it, it's not times four, but it doesn't matter. Gardevoir, there's something. Uh Along the way, I did replace Slash with Dark Pulse. I feel like that might have been a mistake, but I do have Heart Scales if I really need to get, if I really want to get Slash back. Ha. 
TM41 Torment. I forget, what does Torment do? Making a cable using the same move twice in a row. Oof. Uh, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Let's see. What what do I have for options on these things? Blizzard, Rain Dance, Frustration. What's that? Power 100, Accuracy 75. Eh. Psychic, Shadow Ball. I've been tempted to teach this to Kadabra for a while. If anything, maybe a switching out confusion for it. Because that would be an interesting little counter move. Uh, that's... Eh. Sludge Bomb, Fire Blast. Some of these moves I already have. See, that's a special type move, so no. That's a. Uh, uh, shadow. Uh, that's another ghost type move. That could go. F that's good. Uh, go go on the Weavile. Flash, Avalanche, Stealth Rock. Substitute flash cannons a steel type. Although it feels it feels almost like giving uh, that ghost type move to the Weavile would be almost superfluous because the dark types already do it largely the, the job the ghost type move would be doing anyway. Yeah, like, what would I need a ghost type move for except for fighting psychic types? to watch out that I don't actually run out of moves on the Empoleon. Getting good experience from the wild fights, but I still do still want to have you available for the trainer fights, uh, as need be. Uh, what's... Hmm. Of course, I'm not actually obligated to fight all of these wild ones, so... Conserve at least a little bit. Okay, there is an item up there, and that. Okay. Go we'll do this part first. All right. What do you have? Gee, I wonder what you might have. Knocked out. Okay. Sparky. Nice. Don't get it. That's just straight flying, right? Find out. Nothing that would interfere with the electric type move, anyway.
Ah, flying normal, okay. See, the Rhydons are good. They give some I want to say the Rhydons give the best experience in here that I've seen. So those are definitely worth taking out. And being times four again, weak against water. Almost guaranteed. Uh, Bubble Beam was, I would dare say, guaranteed to take him out in one shot. And then you have gold bats. And I see a way down farther. I see a couple different ways farther. Although if that was for an item, I think that might be I might be coming if going coming back from that way. Yeah. Right, you exist. I don't feel like dealing with you right now. I don't think the Empoleon will one shot you. But though you really want me to try. Blissey with so much health. Holy cow. That wasn't even a crit? I, I figured it would do a lot, but dang. Jeez. Uh, Magnazone. Uh, it's probably got levitate. Um, mm -hmm. uh. Oh, not quite. Oh boy. This is gonna suck. No. Dang it. Oof. It sucks that both of my fighting users that have fighting type moves are, uh, uh, Weak against the electric. Fine. 
Uh, I gotta go back and heal the uh, revi revive the star after, cause I'm not gonna use revive here and now. That would be wasteful. I can only imagine how deep this place goes. Thank you. Let's see, which one of these? See how well that actually works. Not very. a test of, do you still have all of these HM moves on hand? No? Then you'd better go back. Oh, jeez. He also... Oh, well, this is gonna get awkward real quick. not be in my way I'm trying to do something here okay didn't know they were in here oh crap uh Oh crap, um... Uh... What the heck do I do against you? Uh... This is probably not gonna do much. Uh, it was neutral, actually. I'm not sure how. I mean, yes, it has a fighting type move, but you know, if it doesn't one shot, the Magneton will probably do the job. I, I, I figure I'm supposed to be, uh. Okay, they don't always have the Magnet pull, though. I mean, yeah, the barrel of the Star Raptor would be nice, but that's assuming that they dock it out in one hit.
You realize Beberil is water type, right? Yeah. Normal water. B, I believe Bdiff was straight normal, but the barrel is has the water type on top. Yeah, how the heck do I get that item? Thankfully, they don't seem to have that magnet pull that often. Okay. Max Elixir. Nice. So going up that way was just for the item. Yeah, okay. Surf would probably one-shot it. Oh, of course! Stupid dumb thing. Well, I do have... some paralyzed heals. <laughs> Hope I don't run out. Remember how effective rock was against steel. Rampardos. That's what I think it is. Yeah, that is what I thought it was. Ah, oh, so close. But if Screech is all you're gonna do, then... Moth him. Isn't that bug?
Up you go! Nice. Is there an item up there? No. Uh, this will work. You suck. damage against UPB. Well, you're the dragon type, ain't you? You would appear you are. That's that's the grass type starter, isn't it? Uh, I'll keep you out. If it wasn't for that gravity, I wasn't, I'm not entirely sure what that gravity does. I don't know if it would have interfered with the uh, star after using fly or not. And I didn't want to take chances. Intimidate did matter. I wonder how how well does the uh, double team affect stump moves like Swift or moves that you know say they don't.
Ah, so close. Okay, good. So basically moves that say they don't miss. It doesn't matter what they do with their evasion, it just it doesn't matter. See, I don't know about interactions like that. I know about, say, I think Thunder in the Rain, but aside, uh, but uh, stuff like Stomp Against Minimize, I don't know. I, I've never known about stuff like that. So I can. I saw your black belt, so I'm just gonna go ahead and switch the cadaver in right now. Well, I mean, that's beside the point. I, I was not aware of it either, regardless of when it came into being. It could have been around since Gen 1, and I would never would have known. A champ. Okay. Okay. Wasn't quite sure a side beam would have done the job, but it did. Alright, farther into the depths. Oh, okay. That's a one way. A psychic, you say. Let go. Okay. Yeah. Give the Luxray a moment. You still got the. Uh, you still got that dark type move. Might as well make make use of it. Sai wave didn't do much. Absol. Isn't Absol dark? Pretty sure it ain't psychic. That's a lot of damage from something with priority like that. Dusk Noir. Isn't that ghost? Oh, both have pressure. But 
Nice. Alright, what kind of stuff is in the water? Float soul, okay. Noticeably le lower level than uh, than what was on land. Mm -hmm. You know, that was an item down here, right? I'll go back around and get that trainer afterwards, but... <laughs> TM-59 Dragon Pulse. The heck is this? Foe is attacked by a shockwave generated by the user's gaping mouth. Pretty strong. P pretty good. I'm glad I realized I could just go back up the waterfall. Should be neutral. Isn't Altaria flying? Yeah, it is neutral. Okay. And you're paralyzed. Okay. That didn't do much. What sucks is that if I ever have to leave to leave to heal, I have to go through all this stuff all over again. But at least I don't have to go through the trainers again. Is this just a sh oh, Okay, never mind. The enemies on the water can be pretty high level. Okay, good to know. Fine, be that way. Oh dear, I should have stocked up on. Next time I leave, I'll go to a go to a shop and buy a bunch of potions and a whole bunch more of like paralyzed heals and whatnot. Cause I have a feeling I would be needing them. See, I don't have a heck of a lot here. Might as well use what I got though. This is a 
because I hadn't used them this whole time. Might as well just use them all up now. And I'll probably just buy, uh, Hyper Potions, because Max Potion, because Hyper Potions already do 200. Max Potions would be a waste. Of course you have that. Of course you have that. Fine. Jeez, I'm trying to let other Pokemon get some experience, but no. Apparently, you're not agreeable with this. I don't even know if Porygon Z is part psychic or what, but... It's probably that Mill inclined to care. Apparently, it's not. You just have every freaking counter move imaginable, don't you? Type moves from too much. But Empoleon's a tanky one. When the heck do you learn that? I don't even think I was given an option for that. Oh, you suck. Stupid crits. Ten growth.
Oh, you have toxic. Yay. Kinda is. Just gonna go ahead and save now. I'll see what are the. See if there's any items on here. See if this is the way forward, or if this is just where there are some items or something, and then I'll probably head back, heal, and. Buy a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you know what? There's an item there, and there's a person there. Great. Oh. Okay. I didn't realize there were regular trainers that had dragon types. It gives me all the more reason what gives me all the more justification why I have the Wii file. have here. Seriously? Huh. Okay. Yeah, you know, for some reason I thought there would be more to this place. And yeah, there was a couple directions I hadn't gone into, but... Yeah, I thought, you know, Victory Road would have a bit more meat to it, but you know, I'm definitely gonna go back and, uh... Yeah, see, uh, what else we got in that place before I do what I can do here. Because I am pretty darn sure I am not ready for this. For the Elite Four right now. Cause I I took a look at at least what kind of levels I'm up against, and <laughs> I believe the champion goes above 60, and that's a bit more than what I can handle, I think, at the moment. In the meantime, just take advantage of the opportunity to just buy a crap ton of stuff. So I'll never have an excuse to have to buy more. Uh, might as well put my money towards something worthwhile, right?
Oh, that is convenient. All the different types of balls are in here. Good. All right. I definitely feel a bit better. Now at least I have... Checking out the areas I hadn't been to won't, definitely won't take quite as long as I expected it to. So yes, all the more reason to just get as much experience as I can right now. Is that right? Oh. If you did, I don't remember, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm guessing it's that guy in front of the cave entrance there. Oh, I seriously hope I'm not going to have to level grind on camera because that that's something I've really been wanting to avoid. But at this point, I'm... <laughs> I'm not sure I can avoid it. What do we have here? TM79 Dark Pulse. That's the one that the Weavile just learned, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought I recognized the name. We're in the midst of all the rock types now. I presume that if and when I lose to the Elite Four, I'm subject to the usual lose half my money circumstance that I would that would normally be the case, yes. Because I suspect they wouldn't be lenient now. So that tells me I really want to prefer getting through all that in one go. The I'm wary of safe stating between fights because if I come across a situation where I really can't, where I'm just simply not strong enough to get through. Oh, there's drill pack. Okay. Uh, what are my options? What's that's pretty good, actually. Mm. Interesting choices here. Um, that means the Staravia has the flying moves taken care of. Mm. 
the Aqua Jet is priority. It will. St Oops. And nothing else is mentioned. I have heart scales, so if I really want it, I can, I can get it. Well, there's another Razor Claw. If I ever wanted another Weavile. Uh. Uh, reminder, don't have a switch. Uh, virtually nothing. What little I've seen, it makes me think Breath of the Wild, but Pokemon. It's also that odd case where it looks like the Pokemon can attack you directly, which sounds kind of scary. Should be neutral, right? Yes. Okay. Zinc. So those things are pretty much useless. I don't think I can even use them at this point. Uh, yeah. I don't think that qualifies as spoilers at this point. It's not exactly plot related or anything. Yeah. Randomly chosen or. That sounds like fun. Is there a way to store items? Stuff that you would rather not lose. Okay, well, at least at least it has that. So if there's stuff that you really, really don't want to lose, you can actually you can prevent that from happening. That's good. Now so it's just a matter of remembering to use that system. Just a one way path down this way. Azamaral. 
okay. That wasn't even in the water, was it? No, it wasn't. Interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah, hmm. Depending on the kindness of strangers. You know, so what could ever go wrong with that, right? But here's the thing, do those, are those, is there a time limit to, to, for those things? Or are, can they just be there, at def, those satchels be there indefinitely? So if you find a spot where someone had a whole lot of trouble, you could find like five satchels for what for the same person or something. Or is it just one per player? I don't know. I'm just throwing thoughts out there. I don't know what's right or wrong. that slow or is the float so that fast? That's flying. I presume I'm going to be fighting you both at the same time. Yeah. Let's find out!
Oh, that was so close. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. You survived. I guess Silverwind's not that strong. Either that or it's special. One other item. I think this might take me in that direction. Okay. Thank you for missing. a rare candy. Okay. How many of those do I have? I know I've got a bunch. I got 11 of them. Well, unless there's something else to do, doesn't seem like there's anywhere else to go but forward, huh? Unless somebody has a better idea. Oh, wait, what? Oh, really? Plate. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. I think that's exactly something I need for the star after, isn't it? Yeah! Nice. Cool. Glad I stumbled on that. Probably buy more revives, shouldn't I? I know I bought some potions, but I know there are some revives for sale too. Wait, am I gonna need that many? Heck no, but you know, I've got a ton of money. So, yeah, unless somebody has any better ideas, might as well give this a shot. Just see how outmatched I am. Or, uh, right. I honestly forgot about you. Turn! Okay. 
Okay. Wait, that's... Torterra's ground type? Huh. Weird. So, based off of that, since that was your starter, 51 is as high as you'll go. Yikes. Huh. I'm surprised you didn't use uh, Max Potion or something on that one. If you were, if you were going to, it would have been right then. Expecting them to survive in the red. You have a. Did you have a Munchlax before? If so, that makes sense. I know I have fighting type moves, but I have a feeling that physical moves aren't going to do a heck of a lot against this thing. Although... Although... Hello, some guy. I'm about to get utterly destroyed. By what, I'm not sure, but... <laughs> of course, that's a crit. Oh, of course. Of course. Except the barrel special ability kind of ignores that. So that sucks. But if I have to switch something else in, yeah, they'll probably wreck, his, wreck the thing's face, but. I had actually forgotten that you had. That you're paralyzed. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, fine, whatever. <laughs> Cl 
close combat will just destroy this guy now. One shot, because I'm still debuffed. My, uh, my defense is still debuffed, so if you get a hit in, it's gonna hurt. Good. And we're back to the Star Raptor again. Uh. Well, I didn't want to take that. I, I don't know. That. I'm bad at gauging the strength of things. I'd rather err on the side of just wrecking things. Case in point. Because now... Goodbye. Because that's times four... Rapidash, I have just the thing. Throw out whatever fire moves you want, it ain't gonna be super effective, it's gonna be neutral at best. So long, and goodbye. Oh dear. If I'm having this much trouble with Barry... Yeah, I can already tell going after the Elite Four is not going to go well with the levels I'm at. But I'm at least going to try. If nothing else, I'll at least see what I'm up against. And I'll probably save to slot two while during this whole thing, just so I don't screw myself over. Nothing else, this is a scouting mission. What am I up against? So that looks like grass, so. Bug works too. Oh, dear. 
I, that is not what I wanted to see. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Just keep using double team. Trapion, I have no idea what this is. Oh. Okay. Oh, and you go first. Because of course you do. Yeah. That or Drapia is that fast, I don't know. Never mind. I thought maybe it was poison type or something, but no. Yeah, it's bug fighting, so that takes to, so that renders the fighting type neutral. Uh... Oh, I didn't even see that. I remember wanting to teach something dig just because of the stupid skun tanks that I've had that were annoying and nexus are still super effective. Yay!
Yes! Of course, my ground type of choice is way back is Doug Trio from Gen 1. But that's not really an option here, is it? Steel. So this is be this uh, this is probably neutral damage at best, but uh no, my rapidash got put in the box, replaced by the Weavile. Except not. Stupid quick attack. There we go. Got the job done. That's one. <laughs> they they have the move first. Exactly that kind of moment. I mean, I have I have Aqua Jet for the same reason. Yeah, I, I knew this wasn't going to go particularly well, but this is definitely not a good sign. Ah, ground type. Okay. Oh, you start out with a water type on top, right off the bat. Great. This is the Did you bring a grass type with you, but fight?
Okay. Apparently it wasn't low enough for them to use an item for. Is... Is steel weak to ground? For some reason, I want to think it is. Okay. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah, that's what that was my thought. Uh Can't use ground moves here, but I'm sure you have something else to wreck my day. Like Ice Fang, for example. And Thunder Fang, too! Sure, why not? Well, I mean, they wouldn't be in the Elite Four if they didn't have countermeasures. And you have Fire Fang, too. You just, you just have an answer to everything. Get wrecked. Get bow done. Not quite. Yawn? Oh boy. Oh, dang it. Dang. And yeah. There's a reason why I bought a ton of these. Napoleon can tank this. Not when it's a crit, no. Superior. 
Okay, it's still super effective, but... Yeah, that's what I thought. Isn't Rhyperior part steel? Oh, it is rock ground, okay. I'm sacrificing you for the good of all. <laughs> knows you're not going to accomplish a darn thing in this fight, so... For some reason, I thought it became, like, rock steel when it revolved to Rhyperior. I don't know. Shows what I know about these fancy third-stage evolutions. Yeah, maybe I am thinking of Aggron. I don't know. Of course, I hadn't seen that line this whole game, so... Ooh, okay. For some reason, I thought there was one more. Oh, boy. Later, Helicard. I think they nerfed it just to make max potions actually irrelevant. Yeah, but you realize, you, you see my group. Nobody is above 200. There is literally no reason for me to use max potions ever. This is largely going to be Babarel and uh, Empoleon's show, but Empoleon's going to have to be careful with these stupid fire types around. Although, with Hound? Ah! Dang it. Why does it have to be just that close? Yeah, I thought so. That's why I used that instead of cut. I shouldn't be surprised that sunny days involved. Oh, 
Oh, you survived that, but you flinched, too. Wait, isn't isn't Inferni fight, uh, fighting type? I could have brought out the Cadabra. Dang it. Well, I think I'm about to at this point. I. I Oh, and you, you outspeed me! Great! Oh boy, this is bad. I was expecting the Cadabra to go first, honestly. I was more distressed that the Infer Infernape outsped me. Like, that's... Is that... Okay, I, th I thought that was going to be Solar Beam. Um... Huh. <laughs> um... Is it... Does an electric defend against grass? Yeah, but the thing is, um, unless I misinterpreted something, the back board is going to go first. Uh, I, I could have sworn it was. Or maybe it's uh, maybe it's grass that resists electric. Flareon. Uh, I expect the Flareon to outspeed me here. That would do it, wouldn't it? Yeah, not. Yeah, I was expecting this to happen. Now the question is, what do I do now? Um. That's probably a good idea.
Honestly, I probably should have revived the Babero instead, because... Okay, um... Probably not. I'd be surprised if the Star Raptor's faster than the Rapidash, in this case. Closer than I would have expected, but oh, of course. But in this case, it's to my benefit because I'm gonna fly. The bounce is gonna miss. Let's see if we could do this again. No. Now nah, you're gonna bounce and I'm gonna miss and things are gonna and I'm gonna be sad. Yeah. Uh Bounce is a flying type move? I didn't realize. For some reason I thought it was like normal or something. but this is the AI using it, which obviously means it was going to hit. That's how things work, right? I'm being sarcastic here, hello. That's three. Oh boy, what's next? I'm not sure if that gives... This is probably Psychic, isn't it? Type that works too. Weavile will work just as well. Although the barrel and Star Raptor would work too, because ghost types won't work against them. Unless I miss. Unless it has to be just straight, uh. straight normal. Oh, yeah, and they probably do have ghost-type moves. I, I'm not going to doubt that one bit. Uh, uh, Lucian, user of the psychic type.
Well, I mean, whether it was Ghost or Psychic, the... It was gonna be uh, Weavile's time to shine. That's psychic fighting, isn't it? You ain't gonna trick me. Yeah, well, fairy didn't exist yet, so... 59? Ugh. And now I outspeed you. Not even a crit, wow. Alakazam. Faster than he looks, Alex. The Kadabra, I want to say the Kadabra, aside from maybe the Weavile Kadabra, is the fastest Pokemon I've got. Holy crap. <laughs> I, was, I was not expecting that much damage. Even on a crit, I was not expecting that much damage. Holy cow. Um. Bronzong, Psychic Steel, oh god. Uh... Oh right, yeah, Torrent, I forgot about Torrent. Uh... What would prevent it from being weak to fire? Ah, okay. At least I have dark type boost that'll be neutral. Should I be surprised? 
now. <laughs> Critical hit, too. I doubt it would have mattered much. I know this ain't probably gonna do a whole lot, but uh, okay, uh, decent amount. I know, but I was since I would I I was gonna assume that the Bronzong's physical defense was gonna be sufficiently high to cause that to happen, and now you're gonna use a full restore and bring it back up to full again. So I was planning, I was thinking about using one more aerial ace, but no, 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 no. I just did not trust the Bronzong's physical defense. And now, yeah. Yeah, that is very much not good. Yeah, yeah, I think we're in revive mode now. Probably just find out if you got levitate or not. you do, but, you know, since the option is there, might as well find out. Yep. Can't say I'm surprised, but some guy introduced that one little bit of doubt. The question now is, who do I prioritize on this? Uh... Some. Oh, of course. You don't need, it doesn't need to be a critical hit. Pretty sure a regular non-crit would have one-shot him just fine, but now you just have to go and do that. Yes, yes they do. Ooh. Okay. One shot for all the marbles. Although, how many did you have any more left? I don't I don't I didn't pay attention. Oh, you have one left. That's beyond.
should have put black glasses on the Wii file, but oh well. And there's the. That's GG. Yep. Oh boy. Well, I mean. Considering you see how how under leveled I am, is it really that surprising that I'm having some issues here? Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put those on now. I had that random thought I should probably level up myself up a little bit more, but no, I didn't do that. I forget what you lead off with. For some reason, I thought there would be a little bit more between where I was and where I'm at now. But, no. Uh, uh, the Victory Road ended up being shorter than I was expecting it to be. Uh, I don't... I'm not sure we have all ever knew Night Slash. Oh, actually, maybe it did. I, uh, I don't know. I don't remember. Gully... Uh, I see... Yeah, I, see, I think I seem to remember having it way back, but... Or... As far as far as far way back as it goes, because this that was one of the more that was the last Pokemon to enter my team. I must have given it up for something, but I don't remember what it was now. Well, as I said, I've got heart scales. If I really need to get something back, I can do it. Uh, like I said, like I said, like I said, like I said, uh, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking with that one. Because I had regular slash on, on that slot, so. Uh, what do I want to do with you for this one? Good question. Um... Uh, Wasn't a creep. See if I can do some damage first. Nope. Okay. Made you commit a turn to a full restore. Twenty percent? I thought it was ten percent. Uh, 
There we go. Again, it was just a low roll the first time, I guess. Ah. And now here's the annoying one. Dang! Okay. Well, I'm thinking my source of intimidate's kinda, kinda gone. Uh. I uh, I'm I'm playing with fire. I'm just hoping that that doesn't bring it down far enough to trigger a full restore. Because I don't trust this thing's defense. No, 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 it didn't. Yeah, you already used one. That one went so much better. Champion stronger than the lead four. Who'd have thought? I'm tempted to use these right now. Uh, where was my revives again? Well, gee, I'm upwards of 10 levels under, under her, uh, her highest. Should I be surprised by this? There's a reason why I have this on a second save slot. Thing I saved before coming in here. Yeah, that's that's some music there. It means you have triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. Oh my. Oh, you have silver wins. Oh boy.
Oh, seriously? You survived that? What the heck? Oh my god. And of course. Yeah, maybe. Sure about that, some guy. Uh, hello, uh, hello, Pastille. Thank you for the raid. As I am going to be having a rough time of things, I'm sure. I assume the guard chop would outspeed the uh, Weavile, but... But if it can survive one hit, one good Ice Punch will probably uh, do the job, yeah? Missed! Do I hear times four? Ha ha! Okay! Okay! Lucario. Uh, fighting steel, right? try and use you for something. Yeah. Anything physical and that whatever is not gonna survive. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I think I'm gonna...
And of course you have a rock type move too. Yay. Okay. Probably yeah. Flying. In before earthquake. Feels weird that Togekiss has an aura sphere. That's free. My Lodic. My Lodic's water, right? Luxray should be able to handle the rest. I say should. Okay. Crit for safety? Okay, what is your last one? Roserade. Oops, 
Clutch bomb. Okay. One v one. I outspeed, that's a good sign. Oh, except, except. Let's go this route. That doesn't do much, does it? It did enough. Okay. Seem to remember extrasensory not doing much for damage. One shot! Boom! You're done! <laughs> Holy crap, I was not expecting to get through that, much less on the first freaking try. Oy. <laughs> Whew. Oh, dang. And you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. I don't think that qualifies as coolness. <laughs> Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge. The, 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 the levels would have helped, for sure, but ooh, wow. And that's why I didn't use the Max Revives until now. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Whew. Uh, wow. Holy cow. That was tense, for sure. When, when, I, when the first member of the Elite Four knocked out, have left me down to two, I, I, I didn't even think I'd get it to Cynthia at all. <sighs> <laughs> In one try, with like 10 levels under her. <laughs> that was pure type advantage in maximizing that. The child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness the child's crowning glory. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. Oh, so Cynthia's been champion for quite some time, huh? It shows. Oof, wow. So in the remakes, it's even worse. Great, fun. But you know, there are a few problems that cannot be solved by just gaining a ton of levels. You know, they just you have to spend the time to do it. Your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Weavile, level 53. Kadabra, level 50. 
Cadaver really didn't contribute anything in this sequence of events. The Barrel, 51. Star Raptor, 54. Empoleon, 54. Luxray, 53. Honorable one mention goes to my Rapidash for holding a valuable place until the Weavile showed up. I think I, I want to say the uh, the Rapidash was female too, but I don't remember now. Saving, saving. So I'll probably just spend the the rest of what little time we got after the credits. Might show off, show off a couple things, but that's this is probably where this is probably gonna end here. Cause I know there's post game stuff, but I I don't know how much of it there is. But I don't know, uh... Would it be worth doing another stream of this for the post-game? Or would it... Or should I just end things off here? I guess... Uh, you guys know more than I do. Okay. Because bear in mind, my experience pretty much ends at Gen 1, 2, and 3. And the, uh... The post-game really isn't too much to speak of on those. I mean, even in Gen 2, where you had all of Kanto, it's a bit of, bit of a watered-down Kanto. So, so you just bear in mind my, the perspective that I'm coming from. Yeah, there's the whole island. There was that one route that was to the east of the Pokemon League. So uh, yeah, I guess I, I guess I can do at least one more stream just to just to show off whatever the heck this is. But you know, it's not quite over yet. I still have a little bit. I might I can show something off at least. Though I fear just how uh, how outmatched I might be against whatever I come across. Like what kind of what levels the. Uh, regular trainers are going to be at moving forward from here. <laughs> I, I should hope not. <laughs> but I, I guess I'm just wondering if the regular trainers are going to be like just simply 50, like 50 plus. Oi. Is it just me, or is the uh, the background picture is a little bit uh, faded? I'm sure it's intentional, but it just seemed something. It was just something I noticed. Although goodness knows, grinding up to 50 wasn't really that hard. I mean, between the uh, the tentacruels in the uh, in the in the nearby water, plus all the the golems and the onyxes and the the rhydons and such. Those it wasn't the grinding up to 50 across the board wasn't that hard. The XP, the XP share helped a lot, but oh, level 70 legendaries. Oh boy. Whew. I'm still surprised that I got past Cynthia on the first dang try. It's just like, wow? <laughs> ah, that was a thing, huh?
Yeah, event items are, are a thing. I'm sure there were more available since the whole Wi-Fi thing with the DS and 3DS and all that stuff, but... If the time runs out on them, you're kind of SOL. Uh... Oh, that's a Magna Zone up there. Took me a moment to recognize it from underneath. Okay. Home again, home again. Right, that was that. That was how to get to the island. Right. I, I'm gonna guess Barry's not home. He already went off to the to the place. Uh, and for those that did, weren't here at the start of the stream, I started off by heading up to Acuity Lakefront to get the, uh, to take at least one try at the, uh, Legendary here. Because I didn't show that off last time. One ball. <laughs> uh, you take those. Uh, what was the, uh, town that was mentioned where the boat was again? Sunny Shore. Snow Point. I was looking at the wrong end of the map. There we go. Uh, and yeah. Do that before I forget. Mostly so I don't have to do all this over again, though I did. You know, don't want to accidentally hit F2 and undo all that mess. The battle zone, huh? Oh, hello, Cynthia. Of course, I don't want it to become what only one person wants. A world like Cyrus envisions. No one would want that. The kind of world I want to see is where everyone can share their joy. Where Pokemon and the people around them can be happy for each other. I want the world to become a place where everyone is smiling. The world could be so much better if we all tried to, to make it that way. I want you to keep traveling to many far off places. I want you to keep meeting all kinds of people and Pokemon. I came all the way here just so I could say that to you. Your horizons will expand again if you visit the fight area as well. Fight area? I don't remember what that was. What was the fight area again? Hello, Barry. Oh, okay. Because it sound for some reason it Cynthia made it sound like it was a place I had already been.
They say they want to test me if I'm good enough, oh boy. Ah, uh, hold on. Alright, let's go. Let's see uh, what kind of... how tough these guys are. Flint and Volkner teaming up. starting two is really not suited for this. Ooh, nice crit. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. At least Cadaver got a level off of it. But... Star Raptor will probably finish off the Houndoom real quick-like. Nice. Can I at least see what the opponents are going to use before I send something out? No. Okay. Fine. On. Well, okay, that's gonna hurt. Okay, okay. Oh dear. Okay. You have Thunderbolt, you Seems fitting that we have our perspective starters here. Survived. You're not going to survive the surf, though, I don't think. Okay. 
And I, I was wondering if it would allow me to use a uh, use a fourth Pokemon in this case, in this circumstance. Huh. I didn't realize I had that. That Jolteon needs to be dealt with. Apparently, we're we're allowed to use our full six. I I I wasn't sure about that. <laughs> A win. Barry's dad? What? Palmer. Okay. Of course, if I had seen him before, I don't remember where, but... Okay, later, guy. Some guy. Oh, you're from the you're the battle tower. Okay. Ah, okay. Cool. Training at the survival area or Stark Mountain. 
Okay. Uh, let's kind of let's see what kind of stuff we've got in here. Uh, it, it's best that you don't know, I don't think. Expert. Life orb. Yeah, yeah. So, can I just fly here whenever at this point? Yeah. Survival area, resort area. And we are currently in the fight area, right? Okay. Now, it's, we've got some berries here. Might as well pluck them. What they do, I haven't used a berry this whole darn time, but you know, they're there. I really should heal before I get roped into another fight. you? I thought you were just going to be for an interview. Okay. Let's see what you got. That's ghost type. So that is decidedly not what I want to be having out in the front right now. And of course, Driftflip has a ton of health. But it doesn't matter. Eh, aftermath, right? Uh, Luxray. Yeah. Keep you out for the dig. Not 
64. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of an outdated move at this point. I wonder. Well, I mean, sure. Fought one, might as well fight the other. I know it's not going to be very effective. Gotta get the Kadabra some experience somehow. Not about that part. Cadaver is still up. Okay, I did switch it out. That weird moment where I'm actually using cut in combat at this point of things. Alright, uh... Might as well at least see what's in the shop before and things off. See if there is actually anything new in the shop. Hello, Mega. I don't remember if they were for sale before, but they're certainly for sale now. Okay. There's the scope lens. Yeah, that's a shame. OK. 
Okay then. So, I guess join me next time where we see uh, what kind of stuff the post game has in store. So, so, we got this area, we've got that area that was blocked off in Victory Road, and who knows what else. So, until next time, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice night. <laughs>